pee on that little seat. And I promise y'all, before I was able to pull my pen, Soupy said pregnant. everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here do not forget to subscribe okay okay so today we're going to be talking about how i found out i was pregnant okay um i don't know if i'm going to do a sick i don't know if i want to combine my my labor and delivery story with this or not but we'll see as the video goes on, okay? Say, hey. Hey, we talking about how you got here. Yeah, okay. So we gonna take it back all the way to, we gonna take it all the way back to 2018. We gonna take it back into the beginning of 2018, okay? So he's dead. You know, it was series and stuff. This was around March. This was around March. Me and his dad was pretty serious. We liked each other, loved each other, all that good stuff. And I had been on birth control since I was like 16, I think, because my mom made me get on it. So, Jericho, don't miss with the camera. No, if you're going to, I'm going to put you up now. So, his dad was like, Tyrion to get off birth control you've been on it for so many years and i want to be able to have kids with you and blah 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 and what was at the time 19 i was 19 so i listened i listened i'm gonna put you up i listened okay i had you know i get the shot so every three months you're supposed to get the shot i had my shot in december i was supposed to get my next shot in march of 2018 so me and him, we was on vacation. I think we just went to Blizzy, just a little getaway trip, you know, just the two of us. And that is when I had made up my, I had been made up my mind that I wasn't gonna get the shot no more. But my mom was keeping up with my shot. So I remember her calling me, she was like, hey, ain't it time for your next defo shot? I was like, I'm not gonna get it. And that is when all hell broke loose for me and for her. She called us the entire trip. She was like, I don't know why you won't listen. You need to um get your shot. But, you know, talking all this stuff that mama's talk. I didn't listen. And then the one thing she said to me that I remember and that she lifted along with it, she was like, all right, all right, you did not birth control. You're going to end up with a baby. It's going to come back and it's going to bite you in the butt. I remember her saying it. Fast forward and see March, April, May, June, July, August, six months later. I had just started my first semester of nursing school, so I was pregnant. Oh, my thing cut loose. Jericho, you is not helping your mama. My second week of nursing school, and I didn't know it. I was pregnant, let me see, the second week of August. So, you know, being on Depo, yo, um, your cycle sometimes is not regular. So I was like, okay, my cycle just, you know, I miss a week is gonna come next week. I had went to the dog store, bought my pads and everything and um I remember just waiting for it and it's so funny because it was like I don't know it took a minute after that though before I started to show symptoms I never got my period being in nursing school stress but sometimes stress can alter your home hormones and your cycle and all of this stuff so I was like okay maybe it's stress you just threw my phone behind the couch and then you gonna pour. <sighs> so, okay. Fast forward to September. Out of nowhere, y'all. I was like, I always been a sleepy girl. You know me personally, you know I love my nails. But it was something about like when I like before I found out I was pregnant, I was so sleepy, y'all. And it wasn't I didn't have no energy. You know how like Okay, take this for example. You know how like you eat something and then you lay down and then you wake up and you feel kind of sick because you slept on your food? That's how I felt waking up except for I didn't have no food. And I felt like that for like maybe a whole week. And then I would get out the shower, y'all, and I would look at my stomach 
and it would look like just a little bit it was a little round like i was wondering like i was looking in the mirror looking at myself i'm like because i was small and so i was just having all of these symptoms i was sleepy i was tired i was sleep all through nursing school i remember one girl she asked me she was like ty you must got sleep apnea because you always sleep i said i don't know because everybody sleep in nursing school like you be so tired people be working all night you know i just thought i was tired so yeah okay so we're gonna talk about what led me believer in signs okay i believe that god tells you stuff or he show you stuff and if you pay attention you will get so like i remember all of these signs happening in nursing school the second week of nursing school no the first week it was two girls in my class that was already pregnant and one of them asked me she was like ty are you pregnant and i was like no you know i didn't know why she asked me because i was small i didn't look pregnant none of it because it was a it was actually another girl that was supposed to start the program but she was big so i mean i know she didn't get mixed up with her i was like no and she just looked at me she was like oh, okay the second instance i was sleeping class y'all and i remember i just woke up to this specific point my teacher was like i don't know he was talking about it was so off topic because we wasn't even talking about pregnancy he was like that's just like if you're asking a patient are you trying to have a baby are you trying to have a baby he was like well if you're not using protection if you're not on birth control then you're trying to have a baby i was like okay had that in the back of my mind i was like dang so am i trying to have a baby i wasn't trying but you know in the back of my mind i'm like well that is true and then the last instance a girl that said somewhere close to me she was talking about pregnancy test or whatever you know i wasn't even a part of the conversation but i remember her saying you can get a cheap pregnancy test from the dollar store and it'll be right because you know it just measures that hormone that pregnant women have so i was like okay i keep hearing all of this stuff about pregnancy and then i and then i finally put two and two together one day like it was nighttime and i was like dang i'm waking up i'm feeling bad i keep getting out everybody's talking about pregnancy and another thing i was having yeast infections i know i had never had a i had a yeast infection one time that was in high school and it was like maybe 11th grade i don't know but ever since then so i, I had to have been like 14 and i was 20 so i hadn't had a yeast infection in like six years and i had one i remember going to the dollar store i got my you know stuff to get rid of it and then like a week or two later i had got another yeast infection and i remember laying in the bed you know jeremy was over my mama she came i don't think he was in the room with me at the time but she was like are you pregnant and i was like no she didn't ask me she didn't tell me why she asked me a question but i was like why are you asking me am i pregnant no i'm not pregnant and so then she had she actually had told me later on that she was gonna buy me a pregnancy test right then but she i had said i wasn't pregnant so she left it alone so then we started clinicals in september i remember taking my first clinical picture maybe i inserted my cheeks were like my cheeks were chubby and i remember my mama posted it on facebook and she said my auntie was like ty look a little chubby in that picture she looked you know hey. thicker. so you know i hadn't thought of the nookie so that was actually my first week starting clinical that was the first day of my first week we had two days and then it was the night was it the night before no i had just finished my second day of clinical so this is me leading up to walmart i had had pregnancy scares before you know dealing with you know jeremy and stuff so when i told him that night i was gonna buy a pregnancy test he was just like oh okay whatever because you know he thought i was you know just buying a pregnancy test just to buy it but now i was tired y'all i was sleeping i felt sick when i woke up by that point i hadn't had morning sickness so you know I was just really tired. I was so tired. Everything that, oh, this is what made me buy that pregnancy test. Everything that I ate, it passed right through me. It's like I hadn't even ate nothing. I could eat a whole big meal, and then five minutes later, it's like it disappeared. Food was just passing through me. It's like, why am I eating and I'm not getting full? So it was late that night, y'all. It, it had to have been like 10, 
or you leave. And all I know is it was late because I just couldn't, you know, I just kept thinking, dang, I ain't got my period. I feel like this. Like, it's a feeling you will know when you um, get pregnant. You just feel sick. So I went to the um, Walmart, bought me a pregnancy test, and I had told Jeremy, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Walmart and get me a pregnancy test tonight. He was just like, okay, and he shrugged it off. So at that time, I was still living with my mom, so I had to wait till everybody went to sleep, because, you know, and I was 20. I don't know why I was hiding it, but <laughs> I had to wait till everybody went to sleep, because I was like, you know, if I'm not pregnant, I'm going to just hide the test or whatever. So in the packet came two pregnancy tests. And I think I had left it in my car so couldn't nobody find it. So I took out the first pregnancy test. I was like, I think I called Jeremy. I think I called him. I don't know if I called him to text him, but I was like, okay, Jeremy, I'm about to take, you know, my pregnancy test. And he was like, okay. I went in the bathroom and you know, it usually take like one to two minutes for you to get the full result. I peed on that little stick. And I promise y'all, before I was able to pull my pants up, it said pregnant. Like in 20 seconds, it said pregnant. And I was like, what? Like, I couldn't believe it. Because it was like, I, that wasn't my first time taking the pregnancy test. And they always came back negative. So that one came back positive. And I'm like, I just looked at my stomach. I was like, and then this is the funniest part. This is the worst part, y'all. I texted Jeremy and I was like, I'm pregnant. And I just said it so simple. I just said, I'm pregnant. Like, as soon as it came back, I didn't think to call him. No talking in person. I just texted him like it was normal because in the back of my mind, I had already told him, like, yo, I think I'm pregnant. For real, for real. <laughs> and he didn't believe me. And so I just texted it to him. So as soon as I texted him, like, two seconds later, he called me. He was like, dang, how you find out that fast? I was like, I don't know. I just peed on the stick and it said pregnant. So it had to be like 12 o'clock. He finally, he drove over from his apartment to my mama's house. And he came in the bathroom with me. And I peed on the second stick in front of him. I don't know, I guess he didn't believe me or whatever. But I peed on the second one in front of me. And he saw how fast it turned positive. So that means I had been pregnant for a little minute. And he was like, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I was 20, he had to have been 22. But yeah, we was pregnant. And it was like, he told his grandma that night. And they kind of had opposite reactions. I thought my mom would be mad and his grandma would be like, oh, okay, whatever. But his grandma was kind of upset. You know, it's understandable. Because he was in his last, um, supposed to be his last little year of school. So, I mean, I understand it. But I had just started nursing school too. So... I was scared. I was like, dang, I'm pregnant in nursing school. I got all this stuff going on. Then I was working at the time too. So I would I didn't try I thought about hiding it, but I was like, nah, because if I hide it, it's just gonna be something in the back of my head, blah blah. blah. I'm gonna have to hide it's too much. So actually the next morning I had told my mama, she was like in a good mood, like, I don't know. So the next morning I went into her room. I used to always use her bathroom. Cause her bathroom was the cleanest so i went into her bathroom and i was like mom i gotta tell you something and then um i sat down and then she said what i said i'm pregnant and she i don't know what she said but she said for real i was like yeah and then i started crying i was like you told me that i was gonna get pregnant blah blah i didn't lose me blah, blah blah and then like a couple tears came down her eyes and then she was like it's okay after we cried and I don't know who hugged, she was like, oh, it's okay. We're going to go to the doctor. We're going to, you know, do this the right way. Get your test. Make sure that you're really pregnant and follow from there. So I remember um, that same day I had class. So I went to class and then like around 10 or 11, -ish, I had an appointment with my regular doctor. And I um, did a urine test and it came back that I was pregnant. And so, you know, I was kind of excited. I was excited and I was nervous. And it was just a bunch of feelings in one. I was like, dang, I'm 20. I'm going to have a baby. I didn't want to have a baby until later on in life, you know, when I was established and all of this stuff. <clears throat> but I was pregnant. Then when this I could do, I had already loved him. Like, even though I wasn't excited at the moment, I still 
cared about my baby. I didn't want nothing to happen to the baby, blah, blah, blah. I found out I was pregnant at six weeks. So a whole month and a half went by pregnant. Didn't even know it. Just sitting up there waiting on my period, like Dumbo the Fool. I was pregnant. So I don't know if this, if this happens to y'all, but here, when you get pregnant, it's like a little strip in, at the top of your medical record. It turns pink to indicate that you're pregnant. So it turned pink, you know, I was pregnant, I was excited. I called Jeremy, I was like, no, I texted him, I said, I'm six weeks pregnant. He was like, dang, I was like, yeah, I've been pregnant for a minute. But that explains everything, because during that time, like I couldn't stand to be hot. I was very irritable, y'all. Like, I don't know, I was pretty irritable. I just, I don't know, I didn't want to do nothing but sleep and then I felt bad. But yeah, so the symptoms, you know, not morning sickness, but feeling sick after my nail, feeling like food was passing through me, yeast infections, those are my main three symptoms. Oh yeah, coffee. Coffee usually makes me go to the bathroom. I drank some coffee, y'all, we didn't do nothing. I was constipated, that's the fourth symptom, I was constipated. So constipation, yeast infection, um, feeling like food passing through you, and feeling sick after I woke up. That was, those were my four symptoms. And yeah, if you constipated or getting yeast infections, then you might want to check yourself out. Cause I didn't know those were, <laughs> I didn't know those were symptoms of pregnancy. You know, yeast infection and constipation. I just thought I was constipated. I was drinking milk and magnesia. It wasn't working. Coffee usually helps. Sometimes if I eat a pickles, they help nothing. All that would happen was my stomach would boogle. So, yeah. Yeah. And then I remember I was looking up symptoms of pregnancy on Google. Literally everything, every symptom that was under that tab, I had. Every symptom. So I was like, dang, that's what really made me go with the pregnancy. Every symptom I had that night. I was like, all right, it's time for me to go get a pregnancy test. And I got my pregnancy test and then Jericho was just in there. And it's crazy because as soon as I found out I was pregnancy, it was like I automatically knew it was a boy. Like I knew Jericho would be a boy. I didn't, I don't know. I just always had said in my life that I wanted my first child to be a boy, you know, not thinking that it would actually happen. But as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh, it's a boy in there. And it was a boy. <laughs> I don't know if I spoke it into existence or what, but yeah, Jeremy came up with the name. Um, he came up with Jericho, and I liked it. I was like, okay, that's cute, that's different, unique. My mama wanted his name to be Jeremiah, but that was too common. We weren't really feeling it. So Jericho, he got he took Jeremy's last name. Um, and Lee was a mixture of both of our families, but yeah. That is how I found out I was pregnant. I hope you all, you know, enjoyed this video. I hope I gave out some pointers if you wondering if you pregnant and I gave out, you know, what I was going through. Hopefully, you know, congratulations if you're pregnant and if you didn't want to be pregnant, I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.